What you are about to see is true. Only the names and faces have been left unchanged to protect the innocent. That is the most beautiful thing I ever heard. From their beautiful studios in downtown Burbank, NBC presents Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. Starring Dan Rowan and Dick Martin with guest stars Pamela Austin, Barbara Peldon, Cliff Wilson, and the Strawberry Alarm Clock with Ruth Fuzzy, Judy Kahn, Henry Gibson, Larry Hovis, Artie Johnson, Joanne Worley, Ben Wrigley, and introducing Morgo as the Friendly Drove, and yours truly, Gary Owens. Tonight's program is brought to you by our good friends... Ladies and gentlemen, for your further listening pleasure, here are the songs of Dan Rowan and the lovely Dick Martin. Good evening. Good evening. We're very happy that you have uh, tuned in this first show of our new series, right? Yes. And I'd like to add uh, a further note, if I may. Uh, in that uh, each time that we have said these things, we have hoped that the newness that has worn off has come through, feeling that the long arm has gone through and brought back one that we could slip under the door. <laughs> yeah. Well, I couldn't have said it better myself. Hey, how about that? Uh, your name's in big lights up there on that marquee. So is mine. Yeah. <laughs> Looks pretty good, huh? Rowan and Martin's laughing. Starring Bonnie and Clyde. Oh, that's, that's next door. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yep, NBC took the uh, one-hour special we did last September. Now we're going to do 13 in a row. We can't do 13 hours. Why not? We'll be here all night. Oh, no. no, not every not every night. We do them every Monday night, once a week, you know. Oh, ho, ho. Sure. You are happy about it, aren't you? Well, I certainly can. Yeah, well, why? I think you should say something. Well, all right. I, I, if I may, I'd like to say that um, I'm very pleased and gratified to know that I will be on the air every Monday night. Well, I think you should say that. Thank you. We'll be very pleased no, and gratified. No, I don't mean you should say it again. I think that you once was, once oh. was just fine. But, you know, you, when you realize, when you think just for a second, you know, there's mm. going to, every Monday night, millions of people going to be, millions right now, watching you. Mm. What do you say to that? If each and every one of you could send in one dollar... No, no. No, come on. You can't, you can't say that. It's illegal. How about a dime? No, no. You can't, you can't say that. You can't shoot a guy for trying. You cannot get anywhere by being dishonest. Oh, how about Bonnie and Clyde? Their name's twice as big as ours. No, no, no. You're off on a tangent. If you... I had one of those, but it sprung a leak. No, no. I mean, you're going in a different direction. This show is going to be a, a different show. It's not a regular variety show. You realize that you now have a chance. One hour a week, you can do anything. You can say anything you want to say. You're kidding. Anything oh. that you want to say. You'll get a kick out of this one, then. Anything there was a... that they say. Censors and NBC and the sponsors will allow you to say. That does cut down the odds, doesn't it? <laughs> it narrows a little bit, but there are a lot of subjects you can talk about, like history. You like history? Yeah. You want to talk about history? All right. You know what happened in 1492? No, but there's a great party in 1537 upstairs. Oh, well, why don't we go to that one? You want to go? Come on along Come with on. us. Come on. George is so square, he thinks that planned parenthood means living with his mother. You know, I could have had to lead an I spy, but they gave it to Robert Cope. It's not that Ronald Reagan dislikes education, it's just that he's not fanatic about it. You know, I always say before two people can love each other, they really have to like each other. Boris says real rejection is trying to sell support your local police bumper stickers at Berkeley. Isn't he silly? <laughs> 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 
as the Ram Chongulahorn once said, when the lamb lieth down with the lion, it is then and then only the pigeon will sit on the arm of the idol. <laughs> Harry, whether he'd rather watch Mission Impossible or kiss me, he said, what's the difference? I say we ought to get Bingo out of the supermarkets and back into the churches where it belongs. 90% of the Cadillac owners in America say those white people sure make some sharp cars. <laughs> I have nothing against the sexual revolution, as long as they don't start storming my barricades. It is said, if the maiden saveth not the oil, it is then the Maharaja trims the wick. I wish I had said that. And there'd be no trouble in the Middle East if only the Israelis and the Arabs would start behaving like good Christians. <laughs> think of red china on a blue tablecloth i think it looks lovely <laughs> you're no relation to the seattle martins are you no no my mother married my stepfather's brother uh, by a previous marriage <laughs> you might call me the man from uncle <laughs> get over here fast i think i've found thrush headquarters at last 